hard work pays off. It always does. For the people who don't believe that, need a reality check. I've been through a lot my whole life, but I always realized one thing. Hard work always pays off. When it came to studying for a test, if I didn't study, I obviously saw me getting a D or F. If I studied, I saw me easily answering questions, getting a B or A. And it goes through, you know, it goes for everything. When I wanted to start hitting the gym, when I started working out, I realized that I kept doing the same thing over and over again. I never had anyone to, you know, train me or had a personal trainer or someone to guide me in the, the right direction throughout the start. I was doing arms every single day. I was curling every single day. And, you know, it was the same mistakes, mistakes over again. I finally realized later after research and maybe watching videos and stuff that I was doing it all wrong for a year. I did almost the same exact workouts every single day. I worked out almost every single day with no breaks. And I was wondering why I wasn't getting the results that you know I was supposed to get. I was wondering why I was doing things the wrong way. I wasn't even taking protein shakes or stuff like that, even though it's not as important, but protein shakes do help grow muscle. So now I'm here talking to you guys and I want to give you guys some of my advice, talk to you guys about one thing and one thing only. Hard work will always pay off, whether it's working out, uh, whether it's studying for school, getting a degree, uh, gaming, you want to become a professional player, you think you want to become better, stuff like that, it will always pay off. And for the people wondering, I have this little brace on my thumb right now because this is kind of inflammated and swollen and it's been hurting a lot recently while I'm playing and I've been playing a lot. So I'm, it's been hurting a lot, I feel like it's gotten worse. And it's really getting, you know, pretty bad. So I'm just using this brace to kind of take care of it. I'm going to be taking some pills as well to hopefully reduce the swollenness and continue playing and stuff like that. But now let's continue what I was talking about. So the main factor with all of this is that people get lazy. So extremely lazy. And trust me, I've been there. I can be a very lazy person. But at the same time, I love to be productive. I love getting things done. I love, you know, if I have a goal or something, I love getting, I love reaching that goal. I love accomplishing things, things that I, you know, thought that I could never accomplish and I do it and it's just the best feeling in the world and I want you guys to do the same thing now I'm gonna show you guys so boom these are results and within just two weeks now I'll tell you a little story that I might do a video maybe along the future if I get more ripped or something but a little story for you guys when the Advanced Warfare first came out I stopped working out for about two months I was on and off I maybe worked out once every two weeks I kind of good but kind of bad at the same time I wasn't really on a good diet and you know i started seeing you know kind of a stomach i started seeing a gut i started seeing myself lose muscle and it was just becoming really bad to the point where i was letting myself go and before that you know i started working out when i was like sophomore sophomore year of high school you know i was kind of on and off so i didn't get like extreme results where i should be but you know i did i've always been a pretty healthy person i've always been a pretty athletic person you know whether it's working out sports stuff like that and you know, I saw myself letting, I saw myself, you know, getting, getting fatter, and I just didn't like it. That was not me. That was not me. So about two weeks ago, I decided, you know, it really hit me. Uh, about a week before that, you know, I slowly started picking up. You know, went to the gym about two, three times throughout the week. Ate pretty good, and then after a week after that, you know, I realized like, what am I doing? Like, how bad do I want this? Do I really want to get in shape? Like, if you guys see me now, I'm in way better shape than I was like two weeks ago. Like, way better. And you know, I, I decided, you know, I do want this. I want this bad. You know, I've done it. Be I've done this before. I can easily get back in good shape. I just got to push myself. I got to understand what I have to do and what I don't have to do and what I have to eat, what not to eat, stuff like that. Dieting is really important. So I start stepping it up. I've been going to the gym almost every single day. I go to the gym now for the past from the past two weeks. I've gone to the gym about six out of seven days, about five six times, and I eat very well. You know, here and there with you know, since I work out hard, I eat maybe. Uh, I would say like a cheat meal, but you know, I eat a little bit high calories, but it's fine with my workouts and what I'm doing right now. So I've gained, you know, pretty good size of muscle. I've gained some strength back. I've lost a lot of weight and this is just within two weeks. So imagine what, what it would be if I continue this, if I keep going hard, if I keep dieting, if I keep working out within the next like two months, I'll be looking like, you know, I'll be looking pretty ripped. I'll be looking in amazing shape and I'll be, you know, benching probably three plates. If I could bench two plates, if I could bench like almost three plates before and now I'm back to you know I'm at like two plates and like maybe a 10 you side you know I'm getting strong again so maybe within like two months I can start benching three plates which is really good weight it's really that's very strong so my point is hard work will always pay off it could be a pain in the ass you know I've eaten I've eaten raw tuna with spinach and beans what's you know that that's a meal right there I've eaten uh, eggs you know, eggs with nothing or eggs with cream wheat, stuff like that, like stuff that people don't maybe like, like fish. And 
brown rice, when ri white rice tastes better, uh, whole wheat bread, that's all I eat, when people like white bread, stuff like that. You got to make sacrifices in the end of the day if you want to see results, whether, I'm talking about working out right now, but that's just an example, and gaming could be the same thing. I have this because I play too much, and it can be a problem, and I'm trying to, you know, take care of it before it gets worse, but, you know, in the end of the day, I'm not saying, you know, you know, obtain this and become, like, unhealthy and broken hands and stuff, but what I am trying to say is that the reason I have this is because I play a lot, I put in a lot of time, and I really try to improve, I try. I really want to get better, you know, I see my mistakes, I try to maybe ask my teammates what am I doing wrong, or, you know, I try to help my teammates learn the game and stuff like that because I want to become better, I want to, it's not all about me, it's a team game, you want your teammates to get better as well, You, if you want to win, your teammates need to know what to do, they need to know what they're doing wrong and stuff like that, so sometimes you got a point, but don't criticize them in a negative way, don't, you know, start you know, destroying their ego and demoralizing them mid-game, be like, dude, you suck, why are you pushing that cut, man, are you stupid, don't say that, be like, yo, like, maybe he just, he, maybe in the middle of the game or the end of the game, but in a good time, don't just do it when he, when you're in the important part of the game, be like, yo, censor, uh, that play where you were pushing out cut, don't do that next time, because you're just gonna, you're just gonna make them spawn in front of us, and we're all gonna die, next time, just hold the hill, you know, just tell them in a good manner way, there's no need if you're going to criticize them already, there's no need to do it in a negative, you know, bad way. Just do it in a very nice, calm, you know, get your point across and be nice. So you guys always see me and I say hard work pays off and it really does, guys. And I promise you this, some people might not see the results compared to others. Some people might not get everything, but everyone is different. Everyone gets results differently, whether it's working out in gaming. Everyone has a different mind. Everyone has a different brain. Some learn faster, some are fast learners, some are you don't have to worry about that. If you really want to reach a goal, if you really want to reach whatever you want to reach, gaming, relationship, working out, healthy, being healthy, school, grades, any of that, just remember the end of the day, hard work will always pay off. You got to put in the time, you got to put in the effort, and you will see results, good results, results that you probably thought you have never seen. And once you start doing it, you see, you see the train rolling, you see the ball, the snowball is growing bigger and bigger. It's a snowball effect. And just keep at it, don't give up. So thank you guys for watching, I haven't done a vlog in a while, I've just been posting gameplay and stuff and whatnot. I hope you guys have been enjoying that video, enjoying those videos, but today I wanted to talk to you one on one, because you guys always say, see me tweet, hard work pays off, because it does. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, this has been your boy Apathy, I have much love for you guys, thank you guys for the support, and I'm out. Garage, they spawn in garage! Hold on, hold on, I want you. Flag it, I'm out, hold on! Yo, where'd Relax. you get it? Relax, the ball. Oh. I'm behind him! Kill, go to 15! Uh, I didn't miss. Alright, forward, keep slain! Are they spawning garage right now? I'm gonna grab that watch. Yeah. Oh! oh! Oh my god, let's Come go. On. Let's go, Brian! <laughs> let's go two dead, we can keep